Hello, good evening, everybody. I'm your host, Khalil Brother, host of the Khalil Sports Sportsport, coming to you live right here in Leesburg, Virginia, Lowndes County area. Today, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I'll talk to you guys about the fact that Gina Carano got released from Mandalorian from Lucasfilm after she sent a derogative tweet, by the way, an abhorrent tweet regarding uh, Nazis and uh, jer- jer- and uh, Jews by- and k- Jews being killed. And that's not going to look good there, what impact she- that's going to have. And um, honestly, we're because she could face. I'll talk about the fact that the Lakers defeated the um, the Thunder yet again, 114 to 113. I'll talk with you guys also about the fact Sammy Guevara quits the inner circle. I'll tell you about the, talk to you guys about the fact that Clar- Clarissa, she's going to be facing Marie, Eva, Dakare, Dakare, March 5th, 2021, winner take all. Talk with you guys also about the, um, the fact that the, uh, that, um, Tampa Bay tossed the Lombardi Trophy towards another boat, and Christian Bait or Christian Bray caught it. So, really, and Tom Bay was drunk too, by the way. In case you guys missed that up. Also, Washington for, Washington football. The cheerleaders they um, reached a settlement regarding the lewd videos. By the way, that were sent. I'll, I'll get you guys to that for sure. I'll talk with you guys also about the. Um, the fact that uh, Walker Bueller is going, they avoid Walker Bueller and the Dodgers avoid arbitration. By the way, Britt Reisman released as assistant assistant coach for the um, the former former Super Bowl champs Chiefs. Chiefs, by the way, so regarding the car crash, and tells you about the fact that the um, the Mavs defeat the the Hawks one eighteen to one seventeen. Really close game. Really close game, by the way. And the um, also takeover Vengeance Day, by the way, is this Sunday on Valentine's live on the W Network. By the way, get you guys into that for sure. And that will be all the news. Out. And also, uh, Joe Hagashi, you know, if King of Fire's Fatal Team Fatal Fury, he's he's the trailer was out. Talking us about the fact that um, Street Fighter Five um, season five update, by the way, regarding Dan Hibiki and uh, Rose, by the way, their gameplay styles are pretty amazing and epic, and a uh, bonus content involving Eleven, by the way, more of the character Street Fighter characters, and uh, it's pretty epic there. And that's, and that's coming, making a comeback win against the Pacers. That'll be all the news I'll have for today, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna start things off with the fact that um. Gina Carano, who plays uh, Cara Dune from The Mandalorian, she has been released from Lucasfilm and from Man- Lucasfilms and from Man- Mandalorian after sending a derogative tweet, by the way, or an abhorrent tweet regarding um, Jew, yeah, regarding Jews being killed and Nazis. And um, honestly, the tweet is a tweet. A tweet is something that a lot of people aren't going to take kindly. By the way, now there's now there was a um, a trend that said ha- hashtag fired Gina Carano and obviously people and also people got what they bargained for. So Gina Carano has not been fired and released from um, the Mandalorian. She will not be in season three of Mandalorian either. I can tell you that. So you're not be seeing Karen doing that. that. That's it. So Gina Carano is done. That's it. She is done for. And she just embarrassed herself around the whole world. That's that. So honestly, she's never seen that tweet and she should be ashamed of herself. She should, she should apologize and that's all she needs to do just for that. So Gina Carano, who plays Kara Dune in The Mandalorian, she is released after sending an abhorrent tweet, which a lot of people did not take kindly on. And that's all there is you need to know on that, everybody, just for that. Also, some other news here I, w- I want to get into, by the way, that uh, the Lakers defeat the Thunder yet again, 114 to 113, where Ken LeBron James has scored 25 points, six rebounds, seven assists, two steals. Montrez Hera scored 20 points, four rebounds, three assists, two blocks. Dennis Schroeder has scored 19 points, seven rebounds, five assists, one steal. Kyle Kuzma has scored 15 points, nine rebounds, one assist, and steal. Al Horford has scored 25 points, eight rebounds, and assist, four steals, and one block. And then Kenridge Williams has scored 24 points, six rebounds, two assists, and three steals. That's all. That's and Lakers they did pretty good so far. But LeBron James, you know, it's a point. So that's all there is for that. Also, the Mavs defeated the Hawks 118 to 117. Luka Doncic has scored 28 points, 10 rebounds, and assists, one steal, and two blocks. Chris Esporzingis has scored 15 points, four rebounds, one steal. 
Jalen Brunson had scored 21 points, four rebounds, five assists. Tim Hardaway Jr. has scored 16 points and one rebound. Willie Colley Stein has scored 14 points and six rebounds. John Conson scored 33 points, eight rebounds, one assist, steal on the block. Ice Trey Young had scored 25 points, seven rebounds, 15 assists, one steal on the block. Kevin Huerter had scored 23 points, eight rebounds, three assists, one steal. Danilo Gallinari scored 11 points, three rebounds, and assist. So best to get there. I mean, this is this was a good game, but I can tell you that. So I could see Mavs and the Haw- and Hawks and you know they're they're pretty good so far. But they get the record up a bit. They have a, they have to have a better record. It's what they got to do. Mavs, by the way, they got to get to Mavs. They're, they're looking pretty good, but you know, even though and even though Trey, Ice Trey Young didn't like that call, by the way, and um, that didn't look good there. I could tell you that much. So that's pretty much all there is you need to know, everybody, on that. So. Not not looking good there. Also, another news: the Suns defeated the Bucks, one twenty five to one twenty four. We saw Devin Booker scored thirty points, six rebounds, and three assists. CB three scored twenty eight points, three rebounds, seven assists, two steals, and one block. DeAndre Jordan had scored seventeen points and seven rebounds. Michael Bridges scored fifteen points, four rebounds, and one assist. Frank Kaminsky had scored fourteen points, eight rebounds, and assist. The Greek figure scored 47 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal. Chris Middleton has scored 18 points, 5 rebounds, 11 assists, 1 steal. Brent Forbes has scored 17 points. Brooke Lopez scored 10 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists. And Bobby Portis has scored 12 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, and steal. The, you know, the Greek figure, he missed, a, he, missed a, he missed a jump shot in that game, though. He didn't beat the buzzer beater. But, um, yeah, Suns, they they took out the Bucks by the way, by one point. So, Bucks, they'll be come back. They'll come back. Another news: The Suns, the Nets defeated the, the Pacers, one hundred four ninety four, where Kyrie Irving has scored thirty five points, four rebounds, eight assists, one steal, and two blocks. James Harden has scored nineteen points, eleven rebounds, five assists. Joe Harris, right here, has scored seventeen points, two rebounds, one assist. DeAndre Jordan has scored twelve points, thirteen rebounds, one assist. Demontis Sabonis has scored eighteen points, nine rebounds, four assists, two steals, and one block. Malcolm Brogdon has scored 15 points, five rebounds, six, six assists, one steal. And Justin Holiday scored 12 points, four rebounds, and two assists mm-hmm. in the game. So that's, that's they got finally got a win. So that's the best news yet there. I can tell you that. Also, the Grizz defeated the Hornets 130 to 140, 114. Kyle Anderson scored 27 points, two rebounds, and three assists. John Moran scored 15 points, three rebounds, 11 assists, one steal. Desmond Bain had scored 18 points, three rebounds, and assists, one steal. Scary Terry Rozier scored 34 points, three rebounds, and assists, one steal. LaMelo Ball scored 17 points, two rebounds, five assists, three steals, one block. Gordon Hayward scored 15 points, four rebounds, two assists. And Miles Bridges scored 15 points, 10 rebounds, two assists, one steal, and a block. So it's all the best news yet there. And uh, Grizz looking pretty good so far. So everything there is you need to know, everybody. And that's the best news yet there. I can tell you that. Also right here that um, Brett Ray's been re- released as – as the um, Chiefs Chiefs assistant manager, by the way, uh, excuse me, as Chiefs assistant coach, by the way, after he was involved in a devastating car crash that injured Ariel Young, by the way, who's dealing with the um, who is temporarily dealing dealing with um, severe brain damage and internal bleeding, by the way, d- due to that devastating car crash and, and nearly injured her and a four year old kid as well. So thoughts breaks out to her family members, all of her fans, all of her viewers. All for subscribers of this horrific um incident, her, of this horrific um incident, by the way, and um there's a GoFundMe page, and she's just fighting. Ariel Young's the little girl who was injured in that car crash is fighting for her life, and um Brett Reed's being invested now. Brett Reed he was placed on administrative leave suspended, but now he's, but now but now the Chiefs they decided to cut ties with Brett Reed by the way over that devastating car crash. So that's it for that's it for him. He's done. And um, honestly, it's very unclear if at the area Young's family members are gonna are gonna file charges and have filed a lawsuit against Britt Reed over the car accident that Britt Reed got himself into. And um, honestly, it's very clear there's an arrest warrant out for him. It's it's it is it does seem possible, but um, that's all there is you need to know in that everybody. So that may happen and by this week and in the coming weeks, by the way. So that may ensue here and there. So <clears throat> hopefully that happens. If it does, that's all there is. Also, guys, Tampa Bay, he threw the he threw the Lombardi Trophy, and he was junk, by the way, too. By the way, he threw a Lombardi Trophy towards another boat, and Cameron Bright caught it. Thank goodness. I mean, he's a, I mean, Tampa Bay is nothing but a drunken 
Super Bowl champ. A drunken champ. Yeah. Yes. Tampa Bay, the drunken Super Bowl champ and Super Bowl MVP. The seven times Super Bowl champ and a, dr- yeah, a drunken seven times Super Bowl champ and a five times Super Bowl MVP. He, he was just, oh my goodness. Like, I don't know what happened to him, but he, he was losing it. He was literally losing. He, he was having the time of his life, what he was doing, though, in that boat ride, in that boat parade, that is. But oh my goodness. He, he just, wow. That's the video there. You guys can check that out, guys. He had to be helped up. But, oh, my goodness. He's just losing it. So that's all there is. You need to know that's Tampa Bay, the seven-time Super Bowl champ and five-time Super Bowl MVP. He was drunk, by the way. He threw a Lombardi trophy towards another boat. And Cameron Bray caught that. Thank goodness. At least in the not break. Thank goodness. Because that that would have been – oh, he would have jumped right there. That's all there is for that. Also, another news that the um, Washington football, they reached the summit, by the way, over the loot that, that were sent. Without their approval, without their um, approval, by the way, during the swimsuit calendar shoots in 2008 and 2010, then the lawsuit was not filed. By the way, one former employee by the name of Brad ba- Brad Baker, who who um who was a bro- who worked for the broadcast department from 2007 to 2009. By the way, says right here that the staffers were told to make a video of this for Dan Snyder, and Dan Snyder denies that. Now, former VP and play-by-play announcer Larry Michael, he denied the allegations as well. And also it's right here that the Washington paused their cheerleading program and their band, by the way, to 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 get a name, to change the name of the logo, by the way. But they're gonna return with limited capacity. If you guys remember that Washington was under so much was under a lot of turmoil because the um because there are 15 women that accused these former former um Employees that were known as Dan, Dan Snyder's entourage of these incidents, by the way, of of um, misconduct, abuse, and harassment, by the way, and they weren't taking it, by the way. Dan Snyder's name did come up, by the way, as well. And um, honestly, there were uh, accusations that there was a overlooked videos, by the way, that were sent without anyone's approval, by the way, I could tell you that much. So if you guys look at that article, you can see that all the allegations that were out, by the way, and it's also clear, let's be very clear, though, that Dan, that people have been trying to get Dan Snyder out the door for months now, and honestly, that's been backfiring since. So I think it's safe to say that Dan Snyder, he, he needs to be let go. And there needs, and there needs to be, and watch the football, they need a name change. They really need a name change. I mean, they got to change the name of the logos, one thing. The colors are going to stay the same, but the... um. The logo's got to change, dude, and they got to come come up with a team name by this year. Hopefully they do so because, I mean, even though they were but they did pretty good out Smith coming back, but that's all there is, for, you know, and Ron Rivera is their coach. So hopefully they come up with a team name and change the logo by this year, hopefully, and that's all there is you need to know on that, everybody. So that's all there is you need to know, everybody. Other news here I want to point out that – um. Andrew Benintendi, he's going to the Royals, by the way, in a three-team trade offer, including the Mets, by the way. The Red Sox sent him there, by the way, along with an unspecified amount of cash to Franchi, Cordero, and two players that are going to be named later. The Red Sox, they get Josh Winkowski and a player named later for the Mets, and the Mets will get Khalil Lee. So, those for that. Also, right here, another, another one. Walker Bueller and Dar- and uh, the Dodgers World and the World Series champs, the Dodgers, they avoid a salary arbitration by agreeing to a two-year, eight mil offer, escalating to more than twelve point twelve mil, twelve mil, if um, he starts this year and wins a Cy Young award. By the way, so the other Bueller can get a two mil signing bonus, half payable March first, and half payable next. January 15th, by the way, the salaries of 2.75 mil this year and 3.25 mil in 2022. So um, that's a whole lot there. But um, honestly, Tosha says a lot. So that's all there's you need to know everybody on that. Also, um, you guys may have caught this, that Sammy Guevara, he has quit the inner circle. Yes. So I'm having MJF. Sammy Guevara quit the inner circle set. So Sammy Guevara is done with the inner circle. That's it. And honestly, that's that's that. And basically, Sammy Guevara, he's done with the inner circle. 
And um, honestly, all there's you need to know. So the Cats have Sammy Guevara is quitting in a circle. That's that. And honestly, that's all there's you need to know, everybody. That's all there's you need to know. Just for that. Everybody, just for that. Maybe he's jealous over, you know, MJF and everything for that. And that's all there is for, for that, everybody. So it's all there's you need to know, everybody. It's all there's you need to know. Another news here, I want to point out, Kenny Omega and Kenta, they defeated John Moxley and Lance Archer. And a false count anywhere anything goes, by the way. It was a good match. I got to tell you that, though. Really good match. But it was amazing. But John Moxley... Will face will defend the IWGP US title against um, Kenta, by the way, at New Beginning, by the way. So that's all there is you need to know on that, everybody. And then that's the best news yet there. That's all I can say on that part. So all there's you need to know on that, everybody. Also, some other other news I want to I want to get into, by the way. Takeover. That I'm t- yeah, takeover. Vengeance Day it will be this Sunday on Valentine's, where you will see Shotzi Blackheart and Amber Moon, they will face Dakota Kai Raquel Gonzalez in the finals of the Women's Dusty Cup. The winner of that match will walk out as the Women's Women's Dusty Cup champs. And not only that, they'll also get a win title. But I told you guys, I told you it's going to happen. You knew it was going to ensue. So whoever wins the Women's Dusty Cup will get a Women's Tag Team title opportunity. I will tell you that. That's must-see, must-watch right there, guys. So check that out. Also, you will see MSK versus GY, GYV, the Grizzly Young Vets, by the way. So, um, yeah. I got MSK in that match. That's what I got. So that's all there's needs to know. Also, you will see um, Io Shirai versus Tony Storm versus Mercedes Martinez in the um, for the NXT Women, in the triple threat for the NXT Women's title, by the way. You will also be seeing... Kushida against Johnny Gargano for the NXT North American title, by the way. You will also see, let's see, Pete Dunn, yeah, Pete Dunn, Finn Balor, Finn Balor versus Pete Dunn for the NXT title. And that's some really good news there, I could tell you that much. And that's all there's you need to know on that, everybody. And it's going to be a good match. I could tell you it's a really good match. And, uh, yep. Really good, really interesting. That's the best news yet that I can tell you that much. So that's all there is you need to know on that. So once again, guys, take over Avengers Day this Sunday on Valentine's, streaming live on the WWE Network, everybody. So check that out, guys. It's all there is must see, all things must see, must watch. And uh, yep, I will say it all right there, everybody. And uh, yep, that's all that you need to know. So just for now on that. And uh, yeah. And that's all there is you need to know for everybody on that. And uh, yep. Must see, must watch this amazing, incredible matchup, and that's all there's need to know, everybody. So, best man win. That's all there's need to know. Also, guys, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Will be PS exclusive, by the way. Will be coming out June 11th, by the way. The game, yeah, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. The game will be coming out June 11th, by the way, in 2021. You can pre order right now, guys. Also, the Joe Higashi King of Fighters 15. Trailer is out now, by the way. And yeah, he's he's on Team Fatal Fear, by the way. I can tell you that. So check out trailer, check out his gameplay trailer. I can tell you that. Also, guys, um, I'm sure you're pretty sure you guys have seen the Street Fighter Five Season Five winner update, by the way, guys. So basically, um, they showed Dan Hibiki and Rose gameplay. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. For sure, it's really good. Must see much watch is amazing. I love it. So that's all there's need to know in that. Don't look at the show trailers. Don't look at the show the trailers. That's all there's need to know in that, everybody. And um, yeah, and also they got bonus content showing um this bonus content character named Eleven. This character Eleven can morph into any Street Fighter Five character. That that's incredible news. That's really good. That's incredible. And you can it can use their abilities too. So that's pretty interesting news right there. Check that out, guys. That's all that you know on that. Also, I, I want to wish that birthdays out to Dead or Alive Sixes Fiona, Jennifer Aniston, Brandy, Brandy Norwood, Kelly Rowland, Natalie Dormer, Taylor Lautner, Shell Crow, Aubrey O'Day, Shanina Shake. 
Yeah, Shanina Shank, by the way. Sayer Khan, Sean Hernandez, Kelly Slater, Georgia May Foot, Juliana Hers, Isaiah Mustafa, Jessica Green, Go Ara, Jazz Rayco, Fernie Graciano, D'Angelo, Ken Shamrock, Sarah Butler, Louis Poe, Anthony Michaels, Sherlin, Sherlin Chopra, Nicola Miritic, Josh Jacobs, Stephen Thompson, El Nas Gold Rogue, Nas Ellie Nicole Pocket, or excuse me, Ellie Nicole Puckett, Ben Mac Macklemore, and Chip. So send me your brotherly wishes, your brother shouts, your brotherly tweets, everybody. Please make sure you do so on that, everybody. And that's all there is you need to know on that. So tell everything you need to know, everybody. And uh, yeah, that's all there is you need to know. So big move there, everybody. And uh, yeah, be sure to do so. So that's all there is you need to know, everybody, just for that. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. Well, it's just that that will do right there for the Club that have a sports sport. Please be sure you always like, like subscribe to the Club Have a Sports Boy YouTube channel or Facebook page by any and all means necessary. Be sure you send me your comments, your tweets, your, rea your reactions, your thoughts, your, your responses on Gina Carano being released from Lucasfilms and from the Mandalorian after a derogative and aberrant tweet that she sent out. Let me know in the comments about that. I'll just respond to sure everybody, and that's all that you need to know. And she will not be in the Mandalorian anymore. Now she plays Car Cara Dune, but she would no longer be in the Mandalorian, nor is season three. So... That's all there is you need to know that, everybody. So Gina Carano or Kara Dune is done for. That's it. Done for. At the derogative and abhorrent tweet that she sent. So let me let me know about that. The comment section down below. That's all there is you need to know on that. Your thoughts on um Brett Reed being released, by the way. After um he got into a car, after he, he got involved in a car crash and injured uh, Ariel Young, by the way. So thoughts about that, everybody. Let me know in the comments about that. I'll just want to share everybody. Your thoughts on uh Andrew, Ben Attendee, going to the Royals in a three-team trade offer, including the Mets. So we thought about that. I will just want to share, but that's all there's need to know. What are your thoughts on um, Washington football, football cheerleaders reaching a, a settlement, by the way, over the lewd videos that were sent? So thoughts about that. I'll just want to share, but on that. Your thoughts on Tampa Bay tossing. Hold on. Someone says over here. And uh, yeah, that's all there is for that. So, what are your thoughts on Tampa Bay tossing a Lombardi trophy over to another boat and basically Cameron Brent caught it? So, that's all there is you need to know on that, everybody. So, What are your thoughts about that? What are your thoughts on Tampa Bay tossing a um, the Labadi Trophy to another boat and that camera break caught that? Thank goodness it did not break. And Tampa Bay was drunk as well. He was a drink. Yeah, he's nothing but a drunken seven-time Super Bowl champ and a five-time Super Bowl MVP. What are your thoughts, everybody, on that? And uh, yeah, he he the he's pretty much, and let's just say that Tampa Bay was being the life of the party. And uh, what are your thoughts on that, everybody? And uh, yeah. Yeah, he was drunk and he was just. What are your thoughts about that, everybody? And uh, that's all there is you need to know. Oh, my goodness. Like, Tom Bay, oh, my goodness. He, he would be done for. Thoughts about that, everybody? That's all there is you need to know on that. Your thoughts on Andrew Ben and Tindy going to the World Series 3 team trade off? What thoughts about that, everybody? What thoughts on. Um, Walker Bueller and the Dodgers World Series chance with the World Series chance avoiding it arbitration going to a two year eight mil offer. By the way, what are your thoughts about that? Everybody, that? let me know in the comments section down below. I will just respond to share, buddy. Your thoughts on the Mavs defeating the Hawks last night, one eighteen to one seventeen. Let me know in the comments section down below. I will just respond to share, buddy. What does the call? By the way, what does on Clarissa T Rex Shields versus Marie Eve 
Dakare, March 5th, 2021. When I take all match, let me know in the comments section about that. I will address the spot on the shirt button. That's all there is you need to know, everybody, on that. Your thoughts on the greatest defeat in the order is 130 to 114. Let me know in the comments section down below on that. I will address the spot on the shirt button. That's all there is you need to know. Say so brother wishes out to Dead or Alive Sixes Fiona, Jennifer Aniston. You got um, Brandy Norwood, Kelly Rowland, Natalie Dormer, Fernie Graciano, D'Angelo, Ken Shamrock, Hernandez, Anthony Michael, Sherlyn Chopra, Nicola, Miritic, Josh Jacobs, El Nas, Golrog, Nasser Little, Ellie Nicole Puck Puckett, and uh, Ben Lackmore and Chip. So thoughts about that. I was just not sure, buddy. What are your thoughts on Ratchet and Clank? Ripped apart game coming out June 11, 2021. Let me know about that. And it may come to, I don't know what's going to come to Xbox Series X and S, even PC, even on the Xbox One, or even any on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure that's going to come up. I know there's Bandicoot 4 is about time. And that's going to be coming out. That was, That's going to be arriving to Nintendo Switch, which is good news there. Hopefully it gets to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way. Xbox, yeah, Xbox Series X and S and PS5. And PC and at the next month, by the way, March 12th, by the way. And what do you thought? And also, it's on PC. It's going to be coming to PC as well later on. Best is yet there. And hopefully, it makes the Super Smash. I hope Crash finally makes the Super Smash, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way. We thought about that. I will, I will be have just response there, but please sure do so on that. You think Russian Clank can get the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well? Let me know about that for sure, but I'll just He was on PlayStation and also Battle Royal. So that was years ago. So that's about that, everybody. And uh, yeah, thoughts on that, everybody. And the uh, best news yet there. Your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the uh, Street Fighter Five Season Five update? Winter update, by the way. Dan Hibiki and um, Rose's gameplay. Let me know in the comment section about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. What are your thoughts on this bonus character Eleven? By the way, where you can like random select. By the way, you can like it can morph into any character. Street Fighter Five character. Let me know by the comment section about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. Your thoughts on um. What he does exactly on Joe Higashi coming back for King of Fighters 15, by the way. Everybody. Yeah, King of Fighters 15. For sure on that. Yeah, King of Fighters 15 trailer. I have no idea when the game is. I don't know idea when the King of Fighters 15. I have no idea when the King of Fighters 15 game is out. I have no idea. They, they hope they show release date because they all they do is show character after character. And when is the when is the release date for this, for the King King Fast Fifteen game? I got to know for sure on that. So what are your thoughts about that, everybody? I will address one sure, and that's all there is you need to know. And uh, best news yet there. And um, yeah. Also, take over Vengeance Day on Valentine's this Sunday live on the WWE Network. By the way, everybody, that's all you need to know on that. And best news yet there. I can tell you that. So that's all there is you need to know. I've had more breaking news, shades out live updates, moving stories, and a whole lot more in the club of club the high level sports board, everything sports learning, everything there is you need to know. That's all I gotta say, but take care, everybody. You guys have a good name. Please be safe out there. Bye-bye.